Let's take a look at how we can add some plyometrics or some squatting patterns forward and backward with some chest pressing using our Ziva tube. I have this anchored behind me on a piece of equipment, but you can definitely use a pole or a post or anything that's going to better suit your knee. Just make sure that whatever you use as an anchor isn't going to fall back on you. Going into a squatting pattern, what I want you to do is first lock your hands in place to where you just jump forward and backward in a semi-squatted position. Then what I want you to do is, if you're feeling comfortable enough, every time you jump forward, I want you to push forward. So what we're doing here is building some coordination and some rhythm and timing along with some explosive power and movement. Now if you can't go through that jumping pattern, stay in a squatted position, step forward and press, and then step back. Step forward and press, and then step back. That's going to be your regression as you're first starting out. And that's your squatting position, jumping forward and backward with the Ziva tubes.